Hello, it's me, Leslie Gray Brewer. Down here at the well again, my usual place, this little area we call the well. Go back and watch some of the earlier, very earliest videos of this series to understand why we call this little section the well. Today is March 8th, 2018, and we are doing a 40-day video series called Watch Long Co. And today is day 18, so we're moving on along. Go back and watch the other ones. They're good. Some are real short, three minutes. Some are up to 18 minutes, nothing longer than that. But the average, I think last night was nine minutes. You can stand that. You got time for that. Because you want to know why you're supposed to be watching Wanna Cove. It's because Wanna Cove is in the midst of a move of God. And there's going to come such an explosion of the power of God in this town that people all over the world are going to say, What? Wanna Cove? I've heard of that. that little, that's in North Carolina, right? That little town that suddenly God just showed up. Like the field of dreams, if you build it, he will come. If we build what? If we build his kingdom. It's not a church. It's not about a church. It's not about a person or a group or a church. It's about the kingdom of God and us pulling it down to earth. You know, thy will be done, thy kingdom come, that whole thing. On earth as it is in heaven, that's what we're all about here in Walnut Cove. We're excited about what's going on. And, you know, today... You can see I've got all my, my Cubs. I'm a Cubs fan. I like the Yankees better, but National League, I like the Cubs. And I'm in a mood for spring. I'm in the mood for baseball. But today, even though we're so close to spring, daffodils are blooming. Things are looking beautiful in the trees outside. Today it snowed. It was amazing. The radar this morning, whew, I feel something on that. I'm just ad-libbing here. I said I was just going to let the Lord tell me where to go, and this is where he's telling me to go, snow. This morning on the radar, I saw surprising patches of blue. I said, it's, there's snow over Stokes County. There was, there was snow over this area. And this afternoon, my children and I went outside, and Abigail said, Mom, it's snowing. Sure enough, we looked, and we could see flakes of snow on the deck, and they weren't melting because it was it's bitterly cold out there right now. And I thought back. To all the years of intercession in this town, you know, we, I started having visions of dreams of a great, and dreams of a great revival in Walnut Cove in about 96, February. Didn't start some serious intercession, you know, prayer, saying, God, you know, save our town, God, pour out your spirit. That didn't start until about 1999, late in the year. But there's been intercession all through these years. And one night, and I'm going to say it was about 2006, I was up the street in an all-night prayer meeting. Now, we had a few of those back then. Maybe we should have some more now. I'm talking about there are people in this town who've been interceding for this town seriously for almost 20 years, who've been gathering weekly, sometimes daily. We're gathering here daily now and have been for almost two years at the well to intercede for Woman Cove, to say, God, send that great move, send, pour out your spirit like in Joel chapter 2, like you did in the book of Acts chapter 2. Do it again, Lord. I mean, the Holy Ghost is still being poured out continually, but I'm talking about an explosive outpouring. So we were interceding at an all-night prayer meeting in about, like I said, about 06, and I remember going to the back of the building up here on Main Street and just looking out into the streets of Woman Cove. And all of a sudden, you know, I was just interceding. And a lot of times when we Pentecostal type people pray for a great revival, we say, Lord, send the rain, you know, send down the rain, Lord, send down the rain. We need the Holy Ghost rain, you know, that kind of stuff. Old tent revival songs about the rain. You know, we're always quoting the story, you know, where the prophet Elijah, you know, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. That's exciting stuff. I still love all the scriptures about rain. Of course, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, you talk about the former and the latter rain. So rain's a big um, symbolic thing in the Bible with regard to the outpouring of God. So I'm sitting there in 2006 going, God, send the rain, send the rain. And all of a sudden, I heard God say, and I think this was about literally about 3 o'clock in the morning. I heard God say, would you rather have snow or rain? Now, actually, now I can't remember if he said, would you rather have rain or snow, which order he said it in. I've got it written down at home. And it startled me. I, can't, I remember sort of throwing my head up and going, what? 
What do you mean, would I rather have snow or rain? Well, of course I'd rather have rain. I mean, I wasn't being disrespectful to the Lord. I knew he must have a purpose for asking me that, but I didn't get it at the time. Snow. Well, why would I want snow? Yes, I love snow. Much as I love spring, I am a snow lover at the same time. If it's going to be winter, it might as well snow. And so I said, God, what, what do you mean? And I ran to get the concordance. I remember running to the front of the church. I got the concord Strong's concordance and began to study snow. I was so fascinated that I continued with that study until I preached a sermon on it not long after that. I repeated that sermon on snow here at the well maybe three years ago. If you go online to our, our YouTube channel for the church, you're not watching this on our church's channel. This is my private channel. But the church's channel, Times of Refreshing in Walnut Cove, you just Google snow, search for snow, you'll find that message. It's really fascinating. Snow. It's mentioned so many times in the Bible, and I hadn't realized it. Snow in the Bible was always a refreshing, ooh, hallelujah, a refreshing, purifying substance. And when I realized what God was saying to me, I said, yes, God, yes, we want the rain. We want the Holy Ghost rain, but God... Send us the snow first. Oh, God, give us the snow because snow is what purifies the land. Snow is what comes down, comes down onto the land and, and brings, pulls down the nutrients from the air that the ground needs that will help the crops go, grow better in the spring. Snow is a refreshing, purifying thing. All of the people who are snow haters, I got lots of friends on Facebook, snow haters. I understand. It can get tricky to drive in. I do understand that. But biblically, snow was always a positive thing. There was nothing negative in the Bible about snow. And I'm telling you, oh, I tell you what, I feel the Holy Ghost so strong, I didn't expect this. You want to see the move of God? You want to see the revival pulled down from heaven? You've got to have pure worship. You've got to say, Lord, give me the snow. Yes, when you ask me, God, would I rather have snow or rain? Give me the snow, Lord, because the snow purifies things. The snow takes us back. Do you realize how Christianity has turned into something that is so man-made? Oh, don't get upset, but I'm telling you the truth. Man-made, we've got our traditions. We've got our programs. We've got our set schedule where you can go to almost any church in America and know exactly what's going to happen next. Oh, I, oh, I might just get up and shout. You know what's going to happen next when you go to almost any church in America. Well, I know next we're going to sing this hymn. And then after this hymn, they're gonna take the we're gonna take the offering, and before we take it, we're gonna sing the doxology. And then after the offering, then the choir's gonna sing. And then we're gonna do this. And there can't be any room for anything to change because the bulletin said this, and we got to have it this way. I'm gonna tell you what. I had a friend who lives in another state, and she said to me this week. She said in their church they started having a move of the Holy Ghost, and it almost seemed as though the preacher didn't like it. And I've seen that happen before. I've been in churches where you could tell there was a move, hallelujah, of the Holy Ghost. And the preacher didn't like it. The preacher was trying to squash it. The preacher was trying to squelch it because he had a sermon to preach. And he had, the, he had studied that sermon. He was ready for that sermon. And he needed to preach that sermon, he thought. But you know what? If the Holy Ghost is ready to move in a different way, that's where the leader has to be such a man or woman of God that they go with the flow of what the Holy Ghost wants to do. Yes, we have to have the Word. You can't come to church every Sunday and have such a run and shout and jump and amen and move of the Holy Ghost that you never hear the Word. That would be out of order, and God's not going to do that. The Holy Ghost is a perfect gentleman and does things in order. It may not be your order, but He's going to do things in order, and that is pure worship. That is why I say, God, give, give us the snow, the refreshing snow that brings the nutrients that we need because we're not going to see great revival until we're ready to get ourselves out of the way. There have been so many services here. We meet in this other room behind me. There have been so many services in the last year especially that I came with a sermon that I had studied for hours using Greek lexicons and all these resources to get it just the way I felt it ought to be. And I get here and I hear God say, uh-uh. Put it aside. I'm going a different way today. Sometimes he's given me a sermon I had to preach off the cuff, unstudied, unplanned, but the Holy Ghost gave me the unction to say exactly what he wanted me to say. People of God, I'm telling you, we're going to have this move of God in this town because there's a people. 
It's not just here at this church. There's a people in this town that's willing to say, God, have your way. Have your way, God. We're not coming to church anymore for the same old, same old where we can predict exactly when we walk in what's going to happen. Have we got room for the Holy Ghost? Do we have room for the snow? Would we rather have snow or rain? God, give us the snow. Give us the purity of worship. The true worshipers are going to worship Him in spirit and in truth. you got to have both of those elements. And when you're worshiping Him in spirit and in truth, then you know how to flow in the Holy Ghost and to go the way that God tells you to go. If God tells you at your church Sunday morning, get your congregation up out of the pew preachers and march them around the block to claim this town, we got to do it. Oh, it's not the bulletin. Oh, we're not going to get to the Chinese restaurant by noon. I don't care. Send the snow, Lord. Send the snow, Lord. I am so moved. I tell you what, I could go on all night, but I got company coming to my house, so I'm going to move on. But you know what? I've done what the Holy Ghost told me to do. If he tells me to stay, my company can wait. I'll stay. But I feel very settled within myself that I've told you what I need to tell you today. Today on March 8th, it snowed. Beautiful flakes coming down. It didn't stick, but it snowed when it's almost spring. Send the snow, Lord. Send the pure worship. That's what we're going to have in Walnut Cove. And when that people, that group, gets in alignment with God's will for that purity of worship, that refreshing snow that blankets us, that's when we're going to see the manifestation fully of what we're waiting for. Thank you for watching tonight. It may be daytime when you watch it. It's night here for me. Thursday night. Thank you for watching. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm not fussing at churches that are not letting the Holy Ghost move. My heart is full of compassion to beg you to say, let the Holy Ghost move. I love you. Remember what I'm saying. We're going to lift Jesus. He's the God of this city. And purity of worship is going to bring His Spirit in a mighty way. Watch Walnut Co.